Here's how to make a comic, which is the first lie I'm going to tell you. I always keep an idea book in my back pocket in case I have a good idea. Instead, I had this one. I was daydreaming about winter podiums, clearly never having experienced one myself, so I decided to make a comic out of it. Usually I start off with a digital sketch. I want to preserve my pristine painting surface, and the amount of erasing that I do would ruin it. I try to find the perspective and place my elements. Here you can see I'm trying to make each character design weird or interesting in some way. The more comical things, the better, right? Fine, you don't want to participate. This comic's for you. Then when coloring it, I thought maybe I can light this in a creative way. A spotlight to proverbially highlight my joke, illuminating it for the folks sitting in the back seats of the internet. And it doesn't work. So I say to myself, Hey Chris, flatter daylight will be easier to see everything and will make this comic work. It still doesn't work. I went back to my idea sketch, zeroed in on the joke. The joke was about the podium, not the funny character designs, not the interesting lighting, not the fact that I never won a high school cross-country meet from the years 1999 to 2003. I had to keep my eyes on the prize. That's how you make a comic. That's the truth. I was getting closer. The podium. My friend Mike said make the first place step ridiculously high. He was right. Mike knows how to make comics. Mike should make more comics, but this video isn't about Mike. Or me. It's about making comics. So here's how I start a comic. Pristine watercolor paper stapled the board. I soak the staples in brake cleaner, otherwise the anti-rust coating causes your pigments to feather. That's also the truth. This is all sped up, but here's how fast I really paint. Oftentimes, there are troublesome spots to deal with. It helps to stop, to reframe, and look at things from a better angle. That's also accidental life advice, but this is just a video about comics. I have to carefully mix each of these colors that I planned out digitally. It's like an alchemy that I'm bad at, a magic craft that I'm just an intern for. But if you're slow and careful and pay close attention, everything will come out fine. Are you paying attention? Here I'm pulling out my secret weapon, frog tape. Use frog tape. Don't use blue painter's tape. Blue painter's tape is a lie. That's the truth. If you really want to get super clean lines, go over your tape edge with gel matte medium. It'll seal any holes in the tape and give you razor sharp lines. But this video isn't about masking. It's about making comics. Are you still paying attention? I know it's a long video, but making comics is a long process. Make sure you're paying attention. Once I've got my colors flatted, it's time to lay down some lines. I'm using a watered down gray blue ink for my background elements. I'm saving the black ink. Compositionally, I've favored the podium, but I want there to be a hierarchy within the panel and for my strongest contrast to be on the punchline. The character is behind the podium. I'm using a Hunts 108 nib on a dip pen and Doc Martin's Bombay ink. I find it's the deepest black and the most waterproof. I would love to be sponsored by art supplies. They are expensive. If you're watching closely, maybe you caught another lie. I said if you're slow and careful and pay close attention, everything will come out fine. Well, I was slow. I was careful and everything did not come out fine. I forgot to paint the space between the judge's legs. I had long since dumped the paint used to color the background as I typically work on paintings in short increments. I tried to match the paint color, fix my mistake, and before I knew it, I was racing to the end. This edit is a lie. I had already finished going over this text on this banner, but I didn't notice my mistake until after I finished it. But narratively, this flows better. Sometimes you make mistakes when you're working on comics. It's important to trust the process, take a deep breath, remain calm. I'm using Posca markers for stiff, even line making. White lines on the darkest value draws the audience's eye here first to read what is essentially the premise of this comic. Finishing touches are in colored pencil. Using a ruler, I'm trying to echo those perspective lines that I laid down in my initial digital drawing to give some dimension. No part of the process is a waste, and it's best if you can continuously build on the hard work you've already put in. In the end, the first lie is also the last lie. This video isn't just how to make a comic, it's how you can approach your life. Listen to your gut. Don't beat yourself up over mistakes. Forgive yourself for never winning a cross-country meet. Listen to your friends, and approach your problems the best that you can. 
If you work at things, your small idea can be realized in reality. Every result might not achieve what you were hoping for, but I hope you get up, pull out the staples, and get your board ready to make another comic. Thank you for watching. Go drink a glass of water.